All right, well, I'm uh, progressing along here. I'm kind of waiting for parts to do uh, the replication of Laser Saber's Jewel Ringer, his uh, second video. What he showed in his second video is what I'm going to try to replicate if I get the parts. But anyway, I'm still working on it, and so is he, which is really encouraging. But I noticed he did this, and now I'm doing this. I went from the uh, CFL to an LED bulb here, and uh, I'm getting better results using that. And it's this particular one is a 110 volt uh, LED bulb that you just plug into the wall. It's not modified whatsoever. And I've changed to the capacitor resistor potentiometer in the circuit. This is a 0.22 microfarad um, capacitor, and in the circuit. I took this coil out, the bifiler that was right here, and replaced it with the capacitor and then the one mega ohm potentiometer. Uh, I put a little resistor in here just so I wouldn't bo bottom it out, a uh, 100 ohm resistor. Some guys use 200 to 500 ohm, just so when you bottom out the potentiometer, you don't frap the transistor. But this is uh, Laser Saber's uh, original circuit that I've been trying to follow as best I can. And uh, this part here, like I say, was the question mark. What is that doing? So anyway, I hooked the scope up to this uh, this right here. And this is what the waveform looks like, the way I have this tuned right here. And this is running at about 60 hertz, which is what I wanted to do. I wanted to see what this looked like at 60 hertz. And there's a reason we use 60 hertz. And I'm learning about that. Uh, but this is what, when you work on these circuits, you want a very, very sharp spike, very short duration. There goes my scope. And this is, uh, when you're building these circuits, this is what you look for is very sharp spike, short duration, and a ring down right here. This is the ring down. And you want that to happen, the ringing. And that's why this is called the jewel ringer. But uh, um, this is now running on a volt and a half battery. I do have the capacitor in there and it's the capacitor ringing between these two things I believe that really sets up this thing good. And this is what it sounds like with my radio. It sounds like 60 cycle hum. Now I'm going to crank this up and you're going to hear this go crazy and the light's going to get very very bright. And then I'm going to show you the scope over there. I'm going to crank up the potentiometer. Actually, I'm going to reduce the resistance on the potentiometer lower. Okay, that's at full bright on that bulb. That's as bright as it would be coming out of the wall. Look at the scope. <laughs> yeah, and that's running at about uh, 600 hertz. And it's pulling about 120 to 150 milliamps. So let me crank this back down here. And uh, anyway, I want to show folks what that uh, that looks like. And when you dial this on down further, this will go into a blinking mode. And the camera frame rate should pick some of this up here as this goes into a slower and slower blink. And it's this blinking that I really wanted. I wanted to be able to blink that and blink that just fast enough so your eyeball can't see it. And like I say, 60 hertz works pretty darn good. There's the, the waveform with that low, low, low blink rate right there. It's just a tall spike. It's a very short duration pulse, which is exactly what we're looking for. So anyway, I just want to share these, uh, these things with folks. The latest progress on the Jewel Ringer using an LED bulb and a capacitor and potentiometer in that place where the coil was.